Now we can create an AOSP folder for our source code download location. From the course material, copy-paste the repo init command to initialize a checkout of the master branch of the Android source code. This information is also available in source.android.com in the Setup tab under Download. You can see in the instructions on how to download a specific branch using the dash B flag. Also it is possible to use the partial clone flag to only download what you need for the build. After initializing the repo against the master branch you will see a git error that you can choose to ignore. If you wish to git config your email and name, go ahead and do that now by running the git config commands with your email and name. We can now download the actual source code by running repo sync along with the number of cores appended to the dash J flag. Again, I will speed things up, but this process took me almost an hour to complete on a strong Wi-Fi at home. The resulting virtual machine is about 190 gigabyte. This is obviously without building the source. Running D with depth of 1 shows that the AOSP folder takes about 115 gigabyte. 